Today we're hiking the uh, Chain of Lakes Nature Trail. It's a loop trail off of the Florida Trail in Blackwater State Forest. It's about a mile and a half. So I just got this water from the creek. I'm going to test out my new Sawyer mini water filter. You just take it and screw it on. It's coming out pretty clear. It tastes pretty good. It seems clean. Okay, so this is the Sawyer Mini Water Filter. It is a 0 0.1 microns, and it says it can filter up to 100,000 gallons, and we got this at Walmart for only $20, and we're just testing it out today. Okay. It's going down the same way it gets water. In case you're all wondering, these are our trekking poles that we're using. They're from Outdoor Products. 
they're just like a Walmart brand that we picked up. They're only like 20 bucks for a set. And we've been just using them through the video. They adjust pretty easily, and so far I like them. They have a good grip and hand airflow. And uh, the strap I don't really like. I wish it was more comfortable. It kind of pinches you sometimes right there in that little groove. But I mean, other than that, these are pretty decent trucking poles. They're not too heavy. And for only 20 bucks, you can't go wrong with that. So we're right now here gonna clean out the Sawyer Mini water filter. So since I forgot the straw, which comes in the kit to suck it out of the bottle, I had to cut off the tip of the bottle. But we just have cleared bottled water. I just cut off the top. So you're gonna take it. You take the filter, you take the syringe and you fill it up all the way to this line. And then you find out where it says the flow and you do the opposite way. So you backflow it. You put it right here and then you squeeze the water through. And you wanna make sure you have pressure on it. So then it flushes out all the bad bacteria that got that it sucked out of the water that you were drinking today. So you want to make sure that you could put a lot of pressure on it. They say this could handle up to like, I think it was 22 PSI. So you could really put force into it. And then you want to do that about five times to clean it out. And then just dry it out a little bit and then you're ready to go. And when you're doing this, you want to make sure that when you fill this up and you're putting it out, you want to do it, even if you, if you, depends on how much you use it, but you want to make sure that water, when it comes out like that, it's nice and clear. And just a reminder, make sure whatever you bring in the woods, you take out with you all your trash and junk. So we were just cleaning up my mess and we found some other people's junk, so. Putting some of the stuff away doesn't take that long. Keeps nature more clean.